G-Power to calculate the minimum sample size needed to run a factorial between group ANOVA. In other words, there's no repeated measures with this one, but we have more than one categorical AB. So from our previous example, we wanted to see if there was a significant difference in job satisfaction scores, that would be the DV, job satisfaction scores, and between their job position. We had staff, we had managers, and we have executives. So there's our first IV. But then our second IV, let's th we'll throw in gender, males and females. Again, is there a significant difference in which position they work and if they're female or male? And if there's any interaction between the two, that's where it gets kind of dicey. Let's pull this up. Again, we stay in F tests because the ANOVA is an F test. And we go down to not fixed effects. Uh -uh. Right here, the one that says interactions in it. So the ANOVA fixed effects, special, main effects, and interactions, right? Main effects are for each and every categorical variable, right? And the interaction is between the categorical variables and their effect on the DV. So let's take a, let's go ahead and click that one in there. Same thing, it gives us a medium effect size. It uses a critical alpha 0.05. We physically change the power to 0.8. Now this part gets tough. Uh, the degrees of freedom in a numerator. Remember, from the ANOVA table, source of variance table, the degrees of freedom in a factorial ANOVA is the number of levels in the first group minus one times the number of levels in the second group minus one. So ours was three, right? Executives, managers, staff, so that's three. Three minus one is two. And in gender, there's two, males and females. Two minus one is one. So two times one is two. Now the number of groups is, you you multiply how many levels in the first IB times the how many levels in the second IB. And that gives you the total number of groups. So we had three job positions and two genders. So three times two is six. Now think about it. That is six different groups. Example. So you got male staff male managers, male executives, and then you got female staff, female managers, female executives. That's six groups. That's how you do that. You hit L calculate button. You got to keep them calculated. And there's the magic number. 158 right there. Boom. Okay. So that's how you do that. And I hope that helps. MGZ out. Oh.